So for some of us here, you might be thinking whether it's time to turn the heat pump off outside and use the immersion heater instead in the tank, especially if you're on solar panels like me that I've got. But we're going to be talking about the best tips on how the heat pump should behave in the summer, what you should be doing if you make, want to make sure you don't get cold again in the winter, and some real tips to save some money on how to run the heat pump really efficiently during the summer months. Because turning it off might not actually be the right solution. Now, if you're looking for a heat pump, you can go to evnick.com forward slash heat pump, where there is a basically a list of details. You fill in your name, uh, name and email address. Augustus will send you a form to get a quotation for a heat pump. And then when you finally get the heat pump installed and the job is finished, we will split a 200 pound visa gift card to spend exactly as how you like on whatever you want. So let's first talk about turning this off completely in the summer. I personally wouldn't bother and if you are thinking of using the immersion heater then your reasons for this might change depending on who you are so first of all if you have a battery then my advice is fill the battery up and run the heat pump rather than the immersion heater the heat pump is only going to be a hundred percent efficient at best the heat pump at worst will be at least in the summer usually about 2.85 to 3.2 maybe a bit more so it's going to be far more efficient running the heat pump to heat the hot hot water rather than the immersion heater now the other thing to consider is if you're on fit so if you're on fit where you get paid a, a guaranteed export and you don't have a battery and you can't afford or don't want to get a battery at the moment then you are the only case where using the immersion heater might be beneficial if you're on a modern solar install without fit payments so you're just on a, an export guarantee off octopus and you're on octopus intelligent like me you're going to get paid 15p for export and only pay 7p to input at night. So you could heat the heat pump hot water at night for the you know six hours at 7p and then export all the solar at 15p. That would be a better thing if you have Octopus Intelligent. If you're on one of the other tariffs, you might have to look into it. Now, the other thing to consider is the Octopus Immersion Tank for the Cozy 6 is fit slightly differently to the way it is on the Dakin system. So what I mean by that is it's a manual switch where you turn it on and it heats up to the set temperature, maybe 55 or 60, whatever the engineer set it at, and then it will turn off. But as soon as that water temperature drops, it will turn on again. So if you forget to return it back off, it can be quite wasteful unless you have a device like a, an eddy, um, which is made by My Energy, or another solar diversion device for your hot water tank. Unless you have one of them, you're going to have to play around with it quite a bit. And again, if you're on a modern system and you have a battery, it is far more efficient to do it the way I said before, which is export to, uh, as much as you can and then just basically use the heat pump to top it up. Even if you could fill the battery up during the day and then when the battery starts to get full, then maybe turn the heat pump on and then run that hot water cycle then and that way the battery will recharge back up if it has to or use any excess solar at that point then. So what about just going on the app and just turning off heating? Well, you could do that if you really wanted to, but I'll be honest, I didn't do that with my boiler. I'm not going to suddenly start doing it with the way I run my heat pump because in England, as we all know, it could be a heat wave one week and then the next week it could be absolutely freezing, which funny enough, um, I, re re I wrote the script prior to the heat wave uh, well as the heat wave was taking place and then the next week it got really cold it was like two three degrees here at night and the heat pump had to kick in and start heating the house because it started to get cold now i like to maintain my house at 20 c all year round basically all the time now that's fine in the summer sometimes it could be 21 22 23 there's a thermostat in the house. The heat pump won't turn on when the house is above 20C. And if it drops below 20C, I want the heat pump to turn on because it's gonna be cold in the house. Now, if you don't like living like that, then that's fine, turn it off. But personally, I like to maintain a stable temperature all year round in the house. England is the place where it can get cold randomly one week and warm the next week. But because of the way the temperature curve system and the basically the adjusted weather curve works in, a, in one of these heat pumps, if it knows the outside temperature is warmer that day or getting warmer, it won't try and overheat the hot water that's running around the radiator system. It will hold a little bit of reserve of what it's going to heat to, so the house won't go over the heat reserve of, say, 20C. It knows it's intelligent. It tries to work all that out. So personally, if it was me, 
And the way I run my house, I just leave it on all year round. But if you really, really want to drill down into the, the possibility that it might overheat, then maybe just change the thermostat or the, the, the schedule to be 19 Celsius. And then if it drops below 19 Celsius, you'll be so happy that you left your heat pump running because below 19 Celsius, your house is going to feel quite cold. Now, look, if you do decide to not listen to any device I've given and turn it off, just make sure that you remember as the temperature in your house, the fabric of the building starts to drop towards the winter. You want this to kick in way before the fabric of the building starts to drop below 15 Celsius because once it drops below 15 Celsius, the heat pump is going to have to work a lot harder, a lot longer for a lot more time and a higher flow temperature to re-reach your target temperature of 20 C. So if you do decide to turn it off and ignore all my advice, then bear in mind as the fabric of the house starts to cool down as we get towards the winter months, you might want to start turning it on a lot earlier than you would have, say, previous a boiler. My advice though is leave it on. That's what thermostats are for. They're meant to maintain the temperature, turn the system off when it doesn't need to go on. So that is the best way of running it. Now remember, if you go to evnick.com forward slash heat pump, you can split 200 pound Visa card with me when you go ahead with a heat pump from Optimus Energy. And if you've enjoyed this video, then maybe check out this video of the install of the Cozy 6 or this video that YouTube seems to really think that you'll enjoy.